Now, uh, I want to uh, move your attention to the independence consideration of Silo, which I believe that is where we started talking about the fundamental rights. It is like this, the independence consideration of Silo did not actually embody a bill of fundamental rights, but the nearest it came to one was through section 29 of the, that constitution. When we talk about the section 29.2, provided that no law passed by parliament shall, for instance, prohibit or restrict the free exercise of any religion or make persons of any community or religion liable to disabilities or restrictions to which persons of other communities or religions are not made liable. This section, which had been designed to protect the interest of minority communities, actually uh, failed to protect individuals against the discrimination. But that is the first step, I believe, in our constitutional law history that we started to protect the uh, protect rights of the people. After that, uh, actually, we can uh, see uh, when we get, uh, look into the Leonage versus Queen case, that is a landmark case which we can talk about the uh, fundamental rights in Sri Lanka. That, 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 that I, I believe uh, we, we have most of the law students join today. So I believe Leonage versus Queen is the starting point which you have to read and take idea how Sri Lankan law has changed regarding the fundamental rights. And then the first Republican constitution, that is 1972, uh, inherited a new uh, number of fundamental rights in section 18.1, uh, all of which are to be operative within certain confines or limitations stated in section 18.2, which apply to all those rights equally. But we know when we uh, come to uh, uh, 1972 con constitution, if there are any uh, breach, Regarding these uh, fundamental rights, there was no way to enforce enforce these rights. So, uh, what we what is the best uh, thing happened in 1978 Constitution? The Bill of Rights in the present con Constitution of Sri Lanka is quite quite elaborate. The several rights uh, enumerated there they are not all subject to blanket restrictions.